Hello, I'm glad that I'm saved and I'm sanctified, Holy Ghost filled, and guess what? Fire I <laughs> baptized. Hey, I pray that everything is well. Bishop Wood in here. I guess you're saying, man, you're a live wire today. Well, I'm excited about being in church tonight. But more so, I'm excited about being a Christian. Aren't you glad, those who are born again, who are watching, that you're washed in the blood of the Lamb? Aren't you glad that you have a mind to serve the God of the Bible? in a day like today. And there's a lot of things going on. I know you're keeping up with the political scene and you see what's happening in the world. I know that you're keeping up with the, 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 uh, uh, the entertainment world and within the Christian world. And, the, and you see the merging and the clashing of the entities. Well, my friends, we stand on the word of God. And in this day and time, uh, God is looking for Christians who will serve him in spirit and in truth and those who have the spirit of discernment, who understand the warning that we're given from the God of the Bible to love not the world, neither the things that are in the world. For if any man love the world, the love of the Father is not in him. Love of world precludes cancels out, does away with love for the Father. No man can serve two bastards. The Bible says this in 1 John chapter 4 and verse 1, Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits whether they are of God, because many false prophets have gone out into the world. I'm going to talk to you tonight about our standing on the word of God and people to whom the Lord has told the believers not to try to win, not to try to have fellowship with, not to gain their approval, not to seek favor from them, and not to be troubled by their displeasure of us. There are people, there are entities that the Lord tells us to have nothing to do with and to just embrace Jesus, win the loss, and move forward in the things of God. I am honored to stand with that which the Lord has planted, and I don't want to be a part of that which God says is wrong or that which the Lord simply permits. I might talk a little bit tonight about uh, God's so-called permissive will. Permissive will. If it's his will, then is he just putting up with a thing and bearing up with a thing? Or if it's his will, then he's, is he not glad to be a part of it and glad to allow it if it's indeed his will? For will to pray that his will is done. So come out tonight. Meet me on time. We're going to study the scriptures. I have a whole lot to cram into approximately one hour to 45 to 50 minutes of teaching uh, uh, to, to cram into this time for you tonight. And you got to come and hear the word of God. I'll see you here at the Upper Room Church of God in Christ.